I hate rectangles. You know why taxes are rectangular, white chocolate bars are rectangular, but most importantly, so are USBs. But they didn't have to be that way. What if they were triangles or ovals? They made that already. I bet. AJ Bet, a mega nerd who led a team of individuals from seven different companies on behalf of Intel, set out to make a universally usable connector for all kinds of peripherals. By the way, when we say peripherals in the nerd world, we mean devices like printers, mice, keyboards, not your peripheral vision. They started this project because they listened to Dr. Big Weld from Robots and saw a need and filled a need. Prior to USB connections, uh, the connector world was a little bit of a clusterfuck. Uh, you wanted to plug in a mouse? PS2 connector. No, not that one. Keyboard? PS2 connector again. Printer? This big fucking ugly thing. And wanna do gaming? Good luck. Uh, you gotta connect a gamepad or joystick to your computer, which needs a game port, which may or may not be on a dedicated sound card that you already bought. If not, you need to buy another expansion card, but you see the problem. How does this have anything to do with what the shape of a USB cord is? I'm already getting bored. Call me your goldfish TikTok attention span. This is pertinent information. I'm getting there. Connecting things to a computer prior to USB was like playing Operation with no fingers and just nubs. So in response, Intel, Comp, Pack, DEC, IBM, Nortel, Microsoft, and NEC, good fucking god, set off to make a new thing. As a heads up, AJ made this technology because his wife couldn't find out why a printer wasn't working, so he was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna make a new thing to circumvent and bypass this issue. There was a lot of trial and error with the technology itself, mostly because they wanted it to work with or without the machine having to be rebooted, which was kind of unheard of prior to that point. Yeah, you heard that right. If you wanted to replug in your mouse or keyboard, you had to restart your computer. Now imagine how annoying that got when you had to replug in your mouse, keyboard, printer, speakers, didn't matter. You had to restart pretty much every single goddamn time. <laughs> and mind you, this was before solid state drives, so your computer wouldn't restart in like 30 seconds. It would take like five to 10 minutes. But anyway, triangles were pitched, but they found out that they needed like one to six rotations in order to get the fucking thing incorrectly. So that was scrapped. They thought of circular connectors, but there's 360 degrees of what you can rotate into the port. So that was scrapped. Why don't they just put a notch in it? Uh, that's because that's what they were trying to replace. The PS2 connector was circular with a notch in it. So eventually they came up with the rectangle shape. Why? Well, they did blind testing with a small group of people and found that without looking at the actual port, rectangles were the easiest thing they could find for a one-sided connector. I find this horseshit because the amount of times you gotta flip the damn thing is kind of obscene. I mean, obviously you can go only go one way with it, but you you cannot tell me you've never rotated a USB twice just for it to be the right way the first time. They got it down, USB 1.0 was announced, and Intel filed the patent for it. So they were gonna try the Mac approach, the Apple approach, and just charge everyone who wants to use this new technology. But unlike Apple, they did a smart move and decided to make it free to the public. So unfortunately, AJ did not get any credits for the technology he just fucking made, but AJ said he's not sour about it, and he doesn't own the patent for it. Intel does because he was working at Intel at the time, but <laughs> what you should probably realize is that if Intel decided to charge royalties on anything that uses a USB device, do you, can you imagine the amount of hell that they can unleash just by putting royalties on a fucking patent? Holy shit. Your motherboard, your mouse, your keyboard. All those manufacturers are gonna have to pay Intel a certain amount of money. Interestingly, when they were actually developing the USB, they looked into using existing developing technologies, which at the time were SCSI and FireWire. Now, if you don't know what FireWire is, it's just another failed Apple thing, a USB type connector where it kind of did the same thing, albeit slower. <laughs> and Apple wanted royalties for anyone that used it, so that was out of the question. And SCSI, which is S-C-C-I, is, no, S-C-S-I, god damn, I hate all the acronyms in IT, I really do. It basically was a protocol for data transfers and basically anything that wanted to be connected 
The problem with this was is that this is not future-proofed very well. So with all that, the USB 1.0 was born with its iconic rectangle shape and only one way of plugging in said rectangle. But this was later fixed in 2014 when USB-C was made, which is likely on your Android phone if you are watching from an Android or your MacBook if you're one of those Apple people. Sidebar, there actually is USB reversible connectors. Just like your X, they're cursed, they're thin, and they're fragile. They're not good, but it's the thought that counts. They have them for USB-A, micro-USB, mini-USB, but because of the impracticality and the really bad marketing that these things receive, they're not really popular and probably for a good reason. So that's why USBs are rectangles. If you enjoyed this, go ahead, suck off the like button or whatever the YouTube algorithm wants you to do so it promotes my videos to other people. If you learned something today, go outside and touch grass in celebration, and most importantly, stay hungry.